You're listening to the Blizzard Community Podcast, produced by geeks, for geeks. Welcome to Geeks of Azeroth. Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back. We've been off for two weeks. It's time for another episode, Geeks of Azeroth, episode 182, to be matter of fact. My name's Tarly. With me, as always, I've got Icarus. Hello. And I've got... I don't know where I'm pointing to. I'm looking at other monitors. Um, I've got uh, Britza. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> well, it's been two weeks, so uh, Icarus, we'll start with you. What have you been up to? Is your paladin, does it have a shield yet? I actually do, but I, I don't play my <laughs> paladin anymore. I'm leveling a, a Maghar uh, warrior at the moment, because warriors are fun, and I finally got exalted with Honorbound. Nice. A third of the way there. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah, play the little heroes. But that's, that's about it. <laughs> Brit, so what about you? What have you been up to? God, that was so quick. I was I was muting my mic there. Couldn't hit it fast enough. Um, <laughs> I, uh, so, okay, I want to tell a bit of a story. A little bit of... Oh, and it's going to be very quick. But All right, here we go. Story time with Brit. Story time with Brit. Q jingle. Magical what? Disney music. Everybody get your tea and crumpets. So here we go. So, it, well, it's not really a story so much as a life lesson. So if you ever, you know ever found yourself reacquainted with an old friend you know someone who you you spent your childhood growing up with um you lost contact for whatever reason and they come back into your life uh very suddenly and you sit there and think god where has this person been and you start to remember all the fond memories you have and suddenly all the you know passion in that relationship comes back and next thing you know you're married and you have four kids well that well i don't know maybe not those last four but Brits is married? No, no, but I am playing <laughs> Diablo Diablo again. I was going to say Diablo 4. I'm so caught up with the hype. I almost said it. But no, I am playing Diablo 3 again, which is actually really good. It's nice to go back to Again, I often talk about going back to games before, like for a long period of time or after a long period of time and, and enjoying them. And I guess anyone would enjoy a game if they haven't played it for so long. But no, I'm I'm enjoying playing through Diablo 3. It's also, I must say, a trick. I'm trying to trick myself into completing Diablo 3 on my PC so that I don't buy a Switch. It's a, it's a finance thing. <laughs> so <laughs> it's on my PC. And if I don't complete it, I'll say, oh, I might as well get a Switch and complete it there with all my friends. And um, yeah, so I'm trying to save okay, money. I, uh, Blizzard, if you're listening, make sure you like disable his PC account ASAP. Yeah, they might do that anyways. To be honest, but he's yeah, been no. cheating. He's he's cheating. Yeah. He's selling his account. If they look at my recent performance, they will see that I'm definitely not cheating. <laughs> I'm still str- not That's stumbling, fun. but I'm still just enjoying messing about with that. But um, yeah, Diablo three. Um, I, I've been slowly warming to it. I think it, people who've been listening to this for the last few weeks have known that I've been kind of right. warming slowly towards it. So I'm actually enjoying just playing that. To be honest, more than anything else cool yeah uh and myself you know just playing a lot of overwatch that's kind of now my blizzard game as you know i always rotate between which one i'm actively playing overwatch is now the active one um been enjoying comp a lot i finally got another gold weapon got brigada's gold mace feels good looks awesome because the shield's gold too uh so cool stuff um also played a bit of life is strange too finally hopped into that game i don't know if either of you guys ever played life is strange but it's so good the second one so far. Only one episode out, but really good. Check it out if you haven't yet. And you're into that kind of story-based game, obviously. Blizzard should do a point-and-click style story game again. I think weren't they, they making could... weren't they making a Warcraft game in that style like long ago uh, Telltale. and canceled it? Like Telltale, kinda. That's I think great. Blizzard should. They Blizzard could almost should. implement that into WoW as like questing. You know what I mean? Maybe. Just take away all your buttons and have you sit through storylines. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people would be super pissed because they're just like, I want to kill things, but... Based on the way Blizzard has responded to the community throughout these last few weeks, it wouldn't surprise me. Like, oh, okay, they're com- they're complaining. They're com- I know what we're going to do. Point and click adventure for the questing. There we go. We've solved World of Warcraft. Well, it, it, how how weird a story would that have been if Blizzard had bought out Telltale when they collapsed? 
I mean, it'd be a, a weird one. Well, they could do it. I was going to say they'd have to maybe promise to complete like the Walking Dead series that still wasn't completed. But I guess they could just hire all the devs and say we're going to come up with our own story based studio. So, it was a gold idea. Gold idea. Well, enough about the fake news. Let's get right into some real news. <laughs> and man, we we have been very wrong, and so has the entire Blizzard community has been very wrong about what to expect out of the Diablo team from BlizzCon. Um, obviously, there's been a lot of hype building up that we were going to see something major announced. We are hoping for Diablo 4 to be announced at BlizzCon this year. And the Blizzard became very much aware of the hype, and so instead of creating a situation like we had at BlizzCon 2016, they came out and decided to address it before the convention let us down a little bit easy, letting us know not to get our hopes up. Blizzard, basically, without directly saying it, uh, said there will be no Diablo 4 announcement at BlizzCon this year. Um, they made sure to reiterate that there are things to announce. There are multiple Diablo projects being worked on, but uh, they said good things come to those who wait when talking about their big project. So, what are they going to announce this year for Diablo? Really, this this now suddenly seems from being the big hype BlizzCon to meh. I think it's more like, what are they going to announce then? Right. Exactly. Amazon I mean... character pack. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take the main they stage, first announcement of the convention, the Amazonians coming to the Apple 3. <laughs> Cue rotten I... vegetable throwing. <laughs> I mean, well, at least they came out and made this announcement so that people don't go in there expecting Diablo 4 to be announced, right? So now we know... That's not going to be a thing, but man, like, Icarus, I don't know about you, but now I'm kind of not feeling as disappointed about missing this BlizzCon, because now it's like there's no major announcements going to happen. I mean, I still feel like they're going to whip something out that's pretty cool, because I, I can't think of a BlizzCon where there wasn't. I mean, yeah, there'll, there'll be expansion, like, you know, patch details and stuff for yeah, WoW but... and Overwatch and stuff, but Diablo, what? The only thing that comes to mind for me is... A remaster of either one or two. I think that's that's the only thing I can think logically that they're going to announce. They have a forty-five minute "What's Next" panel for Diablo. Um, they said they had something to announce. What if it's just another expansion or something adding on to it and then giving us another class to play? That seems like a likely probability with the length of that. Um, what's next? Yeah. yeah, I could definitely see like the Druid or the Amazon or something could else just be being a added whole, as well, like a yeah. whole new. Do you think yeah, they could be... go a whole new expansion? Like, you know, not just new class, but like Reaper of Souls-esque story expansion to the game? I... And still be making Diablo 4? I still think they could, because they could have been working on it since Reaper of Souls came out, and it could have just been a small team assembling this over time to kind of mm -hmm. release eventually as like a little nugget between... Diablo 3 and 4, that way people aren't waiting an eternity again for another Diablo game. That may be one uh, perspective. Yeah, it's, it, Britt, so what do you think? I mean, after if you've read through the blog post yet, um, yeah. their wording is definitely very choice wording there, uh, but it's, yeah, I think you're, you're right. It's, it's definitely not Diablo 4 then. Um, you know, if I was to put my tin foil hat on, I'm still hung up on the idea that the fact they look the first day of BlizzCon is also the day that the um, Diablo on Switch comes out, on Switch, comes out yeah. and I just feel like there's gonna be stuff there. So what if I was to put my finger on something or to put my chips on something now? I would say um, they are going to announce Diablo One and Two remastered with a chance for those people who brought their Switches to play it on the Switch there and then in the convention center so i think diablo diablo 1 and 2 will come to the switch and all other platforms mm. and maybe they do some sort of um it's available now for pre-order maybe something like that but maybe an expansion i like your idea of doing some sort of content behind it well they have to do mm -hmm. content i mean can you imagine if they just 
gave us the old games and didn't really do anything for Diablo 3. I mean, I don't know, though. At, at the same time, a D2 with a pretty decent remaster mm-hmm. would be pretty... I mean, there's a lot of content in that game if I you've agree. never played D2. Um, I don't know about D1, never played that one, but D2 is a big game. Maybe if they were to announce, not necessarily content, but increased social features. So you know how there's co-op on the Switch... What if they were to right. start cross like play. a crossplay and increase party sizes? So maybe they start thinking, well, you know what? Wow's got <laughs> twenty players. Yeah, Diablo. 40, 40 man Diablo <laughs> rate. Ah, that'd actually be so ethical. <laughs> Mythic rating in Diablo. Yes. You just work, you'd just be numbers everywhere. You wouldn't be able to see characters. It'd be brilliant. But no, like maybe just increasing party sizes. Maybe just uh, maybe introducing something akin to Mythic Plus for Diablo. Um, I, I can't remember. I haven't jumped in enough well, to think about they, how this is working. Those stones. Actually, the yeah, it was actually it. Diablo that inspired Mythic Plus True. for a while. So. That, I think that says a lot about the game mentality then, that Diablo's kind of lost maybe a bit of that. And again, it seems to be the main WoW feature at the moment. But I guess just mm-hmm. more social features would be a cool thing to discuss for part of that 40 minutes. Yeah. Maybe. I, well... I think with that yeah, being said, it actually makes it more. It seems more likely that an expansion could be a likely outcome then, because they need more content that would bring people back. Mm-hmm. I guess rather than the seasons. Right, like a, a remaster too would be great, but it obviously wouldn't get people playing their current game. So, yeah, more but, content for the current game. And but let's not forget all those job postings from like a right. year or two ago. They they wanted right. people who. Like character designers, item designers who were familiar with the Diablo themed world. So there must be some additional content coming out. It, I so, don't think so. But but I feel like I don't know. I feel like all of that, like I don't know how much resources if they are making a brand new Diablo game, how much resources they would want to dedicate to an expansion. It's it very much feels all up in the air right now. Like it kind of blew all of our predictions for BlizzCon out of the water. So it really is a wait and see moment, I guess. It's kind of hard to predict what to expect except that I, I just feel like a remaster is a very almost a sure thing that would but, be very I, don't know, I wouldn't get a remastered to be honest i'd probably get an expansion just for giggles i guess <laughs> i i wonder if uh since taking over brack just went well we haven't got anything to announce in wow so guess what guys all other games you are all announcing stuff at blizzcon good luck <laughs> and they're now just rushing around to try and figure out what can we announce um <laughs> I, at least blizzard i think blizzard did the right thing by coming up and addressing the hype head on because obviously people were expecting diablo 4 just like they were two years ago <laughs> so um at least they addressed it head on like hey don't 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 get your hopes up but well I, I, and you're right that that was totally the right thing to do well done Blizz for for bringing our expectations back down but they have to accept two things one that they kicked off that hype with that community <laughs> dev video um, the community right. video sorry saying we've got lots of exciting things to announce and two the fact that everyone jumped on Diablo 4 says that people want a Diablo 4 so right. you know they, they need to understand what the community wants they should at least just show us a logo just at least be like hey it's coming like at the very end of the Diablo part of the opening ceremony, just be like, mm-hmm. "All right, and yes, Diablo Four soon TM. Bring back the soon TM." You know, it'd be really funny, like a quick little six second video of like, who's a cha- who's a hero that's still alive? Is Tyrael still alive? Yeah, I don't know. Someone just been like, no. "We know you've been waiting," and then it's just like Diablo Four logo. Yeah. <laughs> Although that being said going back to a few weeks ago that goldman sachs post do you think that a diablo um uh mobile game is still a possibility uh if they do a diablo 2 remaster i could totally see that being available on like everything i mean if you can have fortnite on your phone you can definitely have diablo 2 remaster on your phone (laughs) what if it wasn't an existing diablo game like what if they produced a new diablo-ish ip for the mobile like Diablo Candy Crush. <laughs> they just called the guys from King over there. Go, go, you've got loads of devs over there where you really need to borrow you. Uh, and it's like a, it's, you choose your character and you just fire the gems at stuff. I don't know. Yeah, I, I always forget about the mobile project. That could be... Yeah, that definitely could be the announcement to a Diablo mobile project. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's really up in the air. Um, oh, man. I just I keep looking at the calendar. Two weeks. And we'll know. So... 
next week will be our big BlizzCon pre-show where we'll make all our predictions. We'll talk more on that then. Um, but yeah, let us know what you think. Obviously, listeners, if you think, uh, you, you know, Diablo Mobile game, Diablo 2 Remaster, Diablo 1 Remaster, Diablo 3 Remaster. <laughs> like, you know what? We're not happy with how this game looks. Let's make it look better. <laughs> it's that old um, now. It probably does need it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. Our, who's our, re- our resin- resident? Sorry. Heroes of the Storm player. Probably Icarus at this point. Kind of. I've played like... We'll share it, Icarus. We'll share it. games, yeah. but yeah. New hero, Mal-Ganis. Mal-Ganis. Yeah. Let's talk about it. So, I... I was actually a little excited to see him come out, and he like his Q ability is like a three parter. You just spam it three times, and it's like the last charge stuns him. So you use that to either engage or get out, which is pretty neat. Out uh, his W heals him and then gives him an armor reduction. I actually have the page up, just at the wrong part. Uh, and then his third ability is, in my opinion, the greatest get out <laughs> ever. You pop it, and then he just everyone falls asleep and then you just go into the distance and if they don't just chain stun you as you're doing this you you're like almost guaranteed out like they have to follow you and then hopefully your team's coming to kill them but they won't be really awesome (laughs) there might be like i would say he plays like riven from league to be honest plays like okay like without the dash and the does he have a does he have a battle bunny skin no, soon. Wait, wait for Easter. <laughs> no, that's cool. I mean, I know the community has been waiting for Malganus for a long time. Like he's been a rumored hero for like since the game came out almost. So, I honestly didn't expect his kit to be what it is, but I'm I'm happy with how it turned out. You think we're still gonna get two hero announcements at BlizzCon, like usual? I I really hope so, but I would. I mean, they made you like three or something. Just like here's the next until February, which gives them buffer time to yeah. think of what's coming next. Because what they're doing is they're doing those events more and more frequently. Mm. So I think they're just going to have a big event happen. Mm. Or I hope they do. I hope they re- 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 blah, 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 reveal it with a big cinematic like they did last year. Because that that Hanzo versus Alex Straza uh, cinematic was really good. Yeah. I think they'll do something awesome. like that, or at least that they'll put some sort of narr- narrative cinematic behind the character launch. Mm. But then again, they've always done it, haven't they? Because they, they, they've done Alex Straza and Hanzo. They've done they did, Varian and Ragnaros. Ragnaros. Or, yeah, Varian, not Illidan. <laughs> but, so it, Same it, it, thing. It's a thing for them to release too, plus it gives them more to talk about. But um, I, I, want, I, <laughs> I want Hammond in <laughs> Heroes. No, no, no. Zenyatta think about that, it his that kit too. is perfect for zen would be heroes good. of the storm yeah oh his Q or brigada brigada would be good too Brig would be fun too a lot of the overwatch heroes just would fit perfectly <laughs> yeah. into heroes and yeah i feel like blizzard knows that but they don't just want to be like all right here's every overwatch character in the heroes <laughs> i mean i would they be will mad, eventually but... <laughs> yeah um Actually, speaking of, they could just announce like three Overwatch heroes coming to, um, and then three Heroes Lost. of the Storm heroes coming to Overwatch. I mean, there's already yeah. skins. <laughs> just put yes. Malganus in in every game. Why just- not? <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. Since, Actually, uh, sorry, can I just uh, ask yeah. a quick thing? The, um, no, you can't. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but the. Um, the Heroes Brawl from a few weeks ago, October, uh, uh, oh, word, October 12th, that <laughs> month I've lived through quite a few times. Um, the They had a, uh, their Heroes Brawl was the um, Volskaya themed single lane map. And it got me thinking, did you guys ever play like the, um, the modded Warcraft, not modded necessarily, but the custom Warcraft 3 like character tower defense style? games winter mall wars or hero yeah, mall wars those mm-hmm. sort of thing and i i just had a random nostalgia moment when i first saw this and i thought why doesn't heroes of the storm do a map which is just you and four other allies fighting endless waves of minions against your core until 
things just start to go downhill and you just keep going until you die or maybe you like a horde mode you get to level 50 or something like that do you think that would work as a game mode i i don't think enough people would play because it's not really the competitive aspect that heroes of the swarm kind of gives you because it's more of a pvp game but what they could do is adapt like hero mall wars where it's you and three other people versus a team of four and then when you kill minions you get gold and then you use that gold to then send more minions down your lane and you kind of try to push their lane through waves of you know basically heroes of the storm but with an economy system behind it so kind of like the um Alterac valley style mechanic but with yeah an economy yeah i like that i like that yeah introducing war fronts <laughs> like, it's, it'd almost be like you know how you collect doubloons to fire the cannon you'd yeah. collect doubloons to then send, send specific, more minions yeah. yeah the send like camps and stuff oh. be, it'd actually be overpowered as yeah people would just store up so much and be like alright everything down the middle lane and then they'd just be a team <laughs> fight that would either win the game random blizzcon prediction uh-uh. storm god is the next map <laughs> Strong, Stromgard, yeah. Stromgard is the next map. Um, it's, I don't know it's why. Worse on Gulch. No, Dark Shore. No, I want a reskin of the actual Warsong Gulch in WoW, not a reskin <laughs> one in Hot. <laughs> All right, did they already down. reskin it once? I don't For... think they ever have. Yeah, they they updated it, didn't they? Go no. look at the trees. The trees are awful. <laughs> Moving slow. on. <laughs> Since we did a show two weeks ago, the Halloween events have moved their way into all the Blizzard games that at least do Halloween events. Um, and, of course, we got Overwatch, uh, Junkenstein's Revenge. Again, same thing as it's always been. Great skins, as always. Um, like, probably the best one would be Slasher, Soldier 76. He looks like Freddy, or he looks like Jason, excuse me, from Friday the 13th. Pretty dope. Um or Banshee Moira. Cool stuff. Do, I I don't know why, but I'm really drawn to the enchanted armor. Uh, Farrah. Oh, Farrah. Like, oh my god, mm. he looks so cool. She has no skin, so like you can do the emo where she takes her like helmet off and salutes and whatever. But she has oh. no head. She's like the headless horse. Really? It's pretty <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guys, hold on. I need to log into Overwatch real quick. I have just <laughs> enough coins to buy this. I think. <laughs> um yeah so of course the halloween skins always seem to be like the coolest ones because they're pretty out there um and of course hallow's end in world of warcraft um is there an event happening in heroes uh i think I... we had it i think well i think we're having it had it it was the one with the uh the raven lord stuff i think oh, yeah, okay. I think that, it, that, yeah, was that the... came and went i think it's like I honestly don't remember. I was playing it yesterday too. Uh, that's a bit odd. It's like it's like when the it's like when the bar stops serving Oktoberfest halfway through October. It's like, what are you doing? Who would gearing around up for- here? That's a crime. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the yeah, yeah, yeah Halloween problem. events. Um, people are starting to com- complain in Overwatch. Um, started with the summer games and now with the Halloween event. Uh, it's year three of these events and they're still exactly the same nothing's changing um do you think blizzard should like have to change them or do you think just keeping them the same and doing new skins every time is this is good enough um is it really the same game mode from like two years ago where it's junk rat reaper and all them Mm -hmm. they haven't even added on to that uh i mean they they for the uh, the normal version, not the endless. They added like three new heroes that you can play as, um, and then of course the endless mode you can play as anyone. Um, um, I I don't think they should add more just because people are complaining that they need to. <laughs> but it, I think people are missing the fact that this is a, you know, it's Overwatch. You're not here for cheeky games. Right. Like, but I don't know. Like the last year, when for Christmas we got. The, the snowball fight mode again but then we got maze yeti hunt and that like that was mm-hmm. such a cool event added from the year before um i like, think i'd prefer choice so I, i'd rather that rather than them change the one halloween event i'd rather they add 
more than one, if that makes sense. That would make right. it feel better for me. Yeah. Like, what, Just add Reaper's whole... Haunted... Reaper's Haunted House, and it's a single player. You walk through a haunted house, get some spoops, and then get a loot box. Yay. <laughs> I was thinking, like, they could do, like, Spooky King's Rest, but have one person be Reaper, and everyone else is random props and do a prop <gasps> hunt. Yeah. You, prop hunt in Overwatch would be awesome. Yes. There you go. We're shitting out gold for you, Blizzard. You need why to take is it, we, it why, most of our ideas boil down to like can we have evolve in a blizzard game right. or something like that <laughs> well <laughs> i want to see like i want a thanksgiving event now in overwatch and i wanted to be catch the turkey and it's basically lucio in a turkey costume and he's just running all over the place and everybody just has to try to catch him uh how about Boop. Gobble, five gobble. five honors <laughs> versus one tracer who's a turkey <laughs> I, that, I, that could too. work oh maybe maybe you are all lucio's and you chase a tracer would that work who's a turkey who's and a turkey? lucio's dressed up as pilgrims <laughs> pilgrim? I, I like like i guess reaper because it's a buckshot and they have like must like blunderbusts i don't know what <laughs> like possibly that'd be cool gobble uh, gobble love <laughs> that'd be weird she is love. The pilgrims are here. So you could do a really fun festive payload one. I, I, I'm still forming it in my head, but like I, I'm thinking, like you could have like a Tjorbjorn in his Santa costume with a payload full of stuff, <laughs> and he just gets to lay down as many bloody turrets as he wants on that payload, and you've got to <laughs> stop it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the payload is turned into a sleigh full of presents, and Torbjorn defends it as Santa. Then everybody else is dressed up as the Grinch, trying to steal the presents. There you go. Oh no! Yes, no, no. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Okay. So, you got one guy person as Torbjorn. All the others are various pixie outfits of Tracer, and one person is the evil Grinch, and your job is to stop the payload. <laughs> There you go. We we have solved this dilemma of no I, unique. Can I say we solved this dilemma of why does Blizzard have the same game mode every year? To why don't we have the same game mode but reskinned every t- every holiday? <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> totally not the uh, same. Yep, yep. We'll have it like on Easter. It'll be uh, junk junk rat defending the payload, and he'll be in a bunny skin. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, Junkrat's in a bunny skin, and oh, what could we have? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Like everybody else is dressed up as peeps, those yellow marshmallow peeps that they sell on Easter. Yeah. No, there everyone's Hanzo, and we're hunting rabbits. No, no, it, you got to have an Elmer Fudd reference. It's got to be an Elmer Fudd <laughs> reference. So, <laughs> all right, this conversation's going a bit. <laughs> yeah, we, we derail <laughs> from Halloween pretty yeah. far. Yep. Yeah. Um, so let's let's get on to the big news of the week. Um, talking back, of course, World of Warcraft. Um, Blizzard has finally caved at least an inch. They're giving us an inch. We need to push them to give us a mile here. But <laughs> look at Icarus's uh, face. <laughs> yeah. Um, so Blizzard has finally given in to their own stubbornness, at least a little bit. Uh, in patch eight point one. Uh, they are going to be giving a vendor and a new currency. Um, so you earn this currency from completing Mythic Plus dungeons that you can use to now buy guaranteed pieces of Azerite armor. Um, it'll only be the new Azerite armor that com- that's available in patch 8.1, but that's okay. That'll be obviously be the relevant gear. Um... This is a huge step in the right direction. This is Blizzard finally saying, like, you know what, whatever, you guys just shut up. We'll do what you want for now. And it, it, this is more than just a Band-Aid fix, I think. This is really good. Finally guaranteeing a way to get your best-in-slot gear. All of Horses Azure pieces are dog poo. <laughs> <laughs> I can finally buy the good ones. Yeah, so... the. This is a huge change, uh, and it definitely shows that uh, if the community pushes hard enough, Blizzard might buckle just a little bit. Um, so we need to keep pushing. Obviously, the game's still not perfect. There's still a lot wrong with this expansion. 
So don't give up, community. Keep giving Blizzard shit, and maybe, maybe they'll keep changing <laughs> stuff. Be nice about it, though. <laughs> like constructive <laughs> feedback. That's that's the message. Constructive criticism. Uh, yes, yes. I mean, for me, the victory is that they've brought Vashreen back as the NPC. Like, <laughs> that's that's the real victory here for for yeah. a sort of low end player like myself. It's just getting more characters into the game. So that's the real victory. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I just, I was never a fan when they took away uh, honor and conquest and justice and valor. Like, I thought all the having all the currencies was a, just a good way to guarantee that you would progress no matter what. I think these RNG systems are are bad for the game, and so it's good to see a, at least a slight return to form uh, with some currencies. Now let's hope that we can get a conquest vendor for PvP as well. Um, I was going to say that a lot of the comments on the post are asking for a PvP equivalent. Um, mm-hmm. Do they have a replacement? Uh, do they have a head of PvP? Or uh, not a head of PvP, but you know what I mean? No, but uh, there has been an interesting change lately to a certain person's uh, LinkedIn profile. That certain person, Brian Holinka, appears to be back on the World of Warcraft team. Specifically as lead class designer. A? Yeah, so... Oy, oy. The previous lead PvP designer... Uh, remember, this is the guy who thought Ashran was a good idea. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, he, he, was take, he left the WoW team, this expansion, to go work on the new secret... some new secret Blizzard game. And now he's back as the head class designer so I, mean, I don't is know it because that project's complete who knows possible announcement pending blizzcon but he's back <laughs> point being he's back he's back um i um i don't know if that's good or bad i mean because class design is awful right now um <laughs> i mean with obviously with the the current state of the gdc and uh uh, shamans N- need I yeah. say more uh, <laughs> it's, you know I don't know if it can necessarily get worse but I don't know if Brian Halinka is the guy to make it better it's, uh, it's weird we can give him a chance it's a different thing approach for him it's not <laughs> PvP although you know PvP is obviously part of class balancing and design but mm-hmm. you know I think he can he can do a good job I'll be positive <laughs> yeah. although if he comes out onto BlizzCon stage in two weeks time and says so um yeah, artifacts, they're coming back. I will just <laughs> delete WoW. <laughs> if yeah, his solution is just to right. take what was in Legion, <laughs> like saying, yeah. artifacts and legendaries, they're coming back. I'd be like, oh, for like, Okay, yep, I'm just officially holding out for classic now. <laughs> um, I wonder if that's what he's been working on. Oh, classic I know it's not, PvP balancing? Yeah, I know it's not, It's the, what, classic's not finished, but I, sorry, I'm sort of now turning it towards Brian Hellinker's career and LinkedIn profile, but I wonder if that's what he's been working on all this time. Maybe. Hmm. I hope so. I really don't want to see 13 arms warriors and two power bands <laughs> just destroying every It's going to be authentic classic, oh, damn it. Okay. Authentic <laughs> classic. <laughs> now we're on that conversation. Do you, I mean, Icarus, do you think that classics should be made with better class balance in mind, or do you think they should keep it as it was? I think at first they should release it as it was or as close to as they possibly can just to give people a real feeling of how it was like 39 storm strikes and one elemental or uh, one lightning bolt from a shaman one elemental blast and just being like that's what level 80 hits for what the hell like it it should but then they should immediately fix it because (laughs) it's it's rough living with some of those like trying to think of some things that were really bad like two rogues just double ambushing people just anywhere in the world that's always fun and while that can still happen now if you have war mode turned on yeah but with how the the spec works for sub you could one shot people like you would just be walking and then die and then two rogues would appear and then mount and leave (laughs) wait rogues could afford mounts yeah, 
Oh god, the old the old mount costing system. Good luck, people. Good luck. Oh. Um, Back to Dark Spear fishing up lobsters. <laughs> five gold for five. Let's do it, boys. I had to save like four months to get my first mount. It was awful. And I can't just get them. Um, <laughs> what what raids came out in the Drums of War? patch what were we up to sorry was it so do we we had well drums War. of war was the last patch of the expansion yeah was it us oh, or of uh, classic yeah so um, you'd have nax aq fire or uh molten core nelf slayer because whilst i can't think of particulars anything? there's going to be certain classes that are going to be disadvantaged in certain raids if they take as it was so you know it, it, yeah i don't there's been something um i can't remember who made the video but it was pointed out how classic's gonna work um and it just made me think like i don't think there's any way it's necessarily gonna feel exactly like it used to no matter what um because it's not they're not taking the classic game engine and remodernizing it they're actually taking the bfa engine and modding it to look like classic that's actually how the game's being made so they're using all of the assets from BFA, um, and they're just re-changing the basically like almost using an add-on pack to change the UI to look older, change, add it back in the talent system. So that's already a weird way that they're approaching it. They're basically retweaking all the classes in BFA to be like they used to, retweaking everything in BFA to be like it used to, instead of just bringing up the old game. I think it's. It's more manageable but from an engineering perspective to do it like that because then they can keep developing stuff right. for the main game and then apply that to all the classic assets because it's still the same asset. Um, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. I just hope they avoid the questing system like no one's going to be level 60 until two months after the release of it because... Oh, it'll that's, probably still be like that. That's rough. <laughs> Like, I don't know about you, but that track as a horde player from somewhere to the hinterlands was like awesome. I have to run through an alliance base and the entire <laughs> the entire zone just to get to mine. Awesome, that's that's fair. Stick to the road, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Yeah, the road goes. It's okay. Have you never been to the hinterlands? It's uh, it's a mountain. Yeah, and then it's a road to an alliance base, and then after that, it's just trolls and spiders <laughs> across the entire area. Yeah. Oh, to ten a levels cliff. above you, yeah. yeah. Cliff fall, and then there's the fucking uh, horde village, and it's like, I I why? do think that um, Blizzard needs to sort of maybe use this BlizzCon certainly next BlizzCon if we're nearer to release by then, or they have a date for release by then, but introduce or the, uh, sorry the demo is going to do that i was going to say they need to reintroduce players to the interface because it, it's not like it was like I, I think the first thing that people are going to be screaming for is add-ons to make it like bfa's <laughs> interface man I, I at this point i've really forgotten what it was like to have a talent tree in that game it's been so long can't been wait since mop <clears throat> Mm. shamans were so bs dude you can be <laughs> elemental and go into the enhanced tree and get some bonus stamina and be like i'm invincible <laughs> oh. how besides know, like wowhead and and icy veins gonna cope like cause they're gonna have the inverted commas live version yeah. of the game and classic right. they're gonna have to have twice as many people just covering wow it'll be great do you, do you know how big those talent pages are gonna be from how many different ways you can build everybody yeah. I just can't wait to be having to go buy ammo for my hunter again. Yeah, no Great. thank you. I'm not going to play a hunter again. <laughs> I've run out of ammo in the middle of raids. Like, uh, wind's break? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, the, the most nostalgic thing, uh, the thing that will make it mo most nostalgic for me is if, isn't even something that the, uh, the devs have any control over. It's whether the guild I'm in utilizes DKP as a man hanging out loot. <laughs> And that, if, they don't, if my guild doesn't use DKP, I'm sorry, that's not classic. That is not classic. That was one of the raids I forgot to go to old Ani. Mm, yeah. Mm. Many whelps handle it. Maybe I'll play a warlock. Just to dot everything. Play a warrior. It's three shot everything like a man. You, if you're going to play a warrior in classic, you have to play prot or you don't exist. 
It's kind of like if you're a paladin, <laughs> if you're not playing holy, then what are you doing? Arms is viable. <laughs> Fury, Fury was interesting. <laughs> I, I, I can't actually, talk. I, I didn't Fury. play Tell Wrath, so I don't actually know. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's like a new game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play my. I'm gonna level a shaman, but do the Jeffo way and don't get any of my totems. Just wait till the game's like here's spells for totems that you don't have, and then you can still cast them. Just never the rank one version. <laughs> So th there's one argument that a lot of people make about Classic that I don't necessarily agree with. I don't actually understand it at all, but they don't want the modern graphics either. They don't want the modern, like, quality of life graphics mm -hmm. added to the game. Like, they want it to look like garbage, too. I'm like, no, like, why can't we have the old, the feel of the game, the class balance, class design, but make it look better? Or does it, I mean, what do you guys think? Like, would, are the new character models a no-go for a Classic? Um, I think it's a double-edged sword. Like, if you put them side to side, like, it's noticeable, but it's not, it's not, like, an eyesore. Like, it's manageable. Some of the gear is pretty, like, like, go look at the AQ set and just see how, like, spread out the pixels are, but. <laughs> yeah. I think you it's. Can count them. Yeah. It's, it's, it's Minecraft levels of. <laughs> contrast but i think it's kind of like the uh halo master chief collection like so i think the halo one and two no. you've got to, if they have an option where you can just toggle old graphics and not new graphic well i think they there have that go. in the live game sorry don't they so yeah you could um, turn the old character models on and off yeah yeah and i think that does it you know play the game you want to play it um but i think for a lot of people that old style is is really all they've played because let's be honest the people who are going to play it are a lot of them, or well, some of them, are at least are pirate server people, so they've never had to deal with the new graphics. So that's something to consider. New graphics would be a bit of a shock for them. All right, fair enough. All right, anything else on WoW news or any kind? Any, anything else we want to talk about? Um, it's still slow, of course, leading up to BlizzCon. Um, and I know next week, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I'm going to be wanting to talk all about Red Dead Redemption because that comes out next week. <laughs> oh, Just forget man. the BlizzCon shows. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm sick that day. I'm sorry. I can't make the show next week. <laughs> yeah. I, I um, have the Western fever. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, that's spreading fast. That's, that's, that's coming across here, I think, as well. Um, have they confirmed the band yet for BlizzCon? No. No, they haven't. There's I'm going to be really... One. I'm going to be really disappointed if it's someone I really want to see. Right, yeah. Because we, <laughs> we've skipped out. We saw. We went to Linkin Park, and then we skipped like two in a row because they were kind of meh bands. I think it was like Weird Al. And... Yeah, Weird Al and then Muse. Yeah, we skipped those, yeah. but we saw Linkin Park. And then Park. I, saw, I saw Lagging Bull share like a photo of you 2 and I almost spat my coffee over my monitor. <laughs> it wasn't a confirmation. They, they, oh. You two are not playing BlizzCon. Oh, I almost be... died. <laughs> I yeah, don't know what I, it I would wouldn't... be. I don't, yeah, I guess you could try to look at who's touring right now to try to, like who what bands are popular. If they uh, if they got like Post Malone, I'd lose my mind. Like no, <laughs> I would have to drive to. Eats. I'd have to drive to L.A. with one of my old badges and just see if I could sneak in. You, if, I bet you totally like uh, just like yes. walk through, just have it like. Uh, the, so the the back of it's showing like they don't give a shit. We've tr we've walked in so many times and they don't even look at it. I almost guarantee that method could work for at least the opening day when it's like it, like everybody's rushing through. If you just have like a badge from last year turned backwards and like yeah yeah and then like push your way through, no one's gonna stop you. <laughs> yeah, but once you're in, all right, I'm think... going to Bl I'm going to BlizzCon, boys. I've got so everyone else with an old ticket. Apparently, <laughs> the, the question is: is what do they do afterwards? Do they just like kick you out, and you're like, "Well, shucks, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go try again down at this door." <laughs> the, well, out there is a load you can do. Absolutely, ton of right, stuff outside. Exactly. You can go to BlizzCon and not even enter the convention center. Really, just just stand outside with the food carts, listening to the music from there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you might All as well right. stream it. You might as well stream it from yeah. your phone. Get yeah, there you. Go. <laughs> um, All right, on that note, oh yeah. No, sorry. I was I was just going to say I I wonder if ETC might make an appearance just to Maybe. give Mike a sort of but, sign oh, off. Yeah. Be awesome. I think 
No, I don't know. I, I I could definitely see someone like Post Malone actually being it right now. Um, otherwise, I I have no idea who it could be. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Without further ado, it's time for Blizzard. Twenty questions. Geeks of Azeroth, the moment has arrived. Have you studied the lore? Study the lore? I am the lore! It's time for Blizzard 20 Questions. Alright, it's time for Blizzard 20 Questions. Icarus has the answer this time. And I do. we've got the questions. Let the question begin. Oh, is this from Warcraft? Yes, it is. Okay, off to a good start. 100% success rate so far. <laughs> is it a so character far. from Warcraft? Is, yes, it is a character from Warcraft. Was that was that trying to elude that it's not an item? Pretend okay. your video is frozen. <laughs> It was frozen in the best position, too. You're just... <laughs> You're back. Right. You're back. Okay. Um, uh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> My connection just uh, went absolutely able. So, is this character also an item? No. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know. Just... I, I, I was just thinking you might be going towards, like, Zalatath or something. <laughs> That's not an... He's an item. She's also a person. Right. Okay. She. Um, Okay. Yeah. Not an item. Is a character from Warcraft. Is this this character only in... in, Are they in another Blizzard game? (laughs) They are only in... The Warcraft. The Warcraft. (laughs) (laughs) Um, is this character was this character in the Warcraft universe prior to World of Warcraft? Uh, that is a great question. I mean, <laughs> I, I yes, technically. Okay. I mean, he was alive before the events of Oh, and World now we, of Warcraft. And now we know the gender of the character as well. Thank you. Yeah, I already gave that away like two questions ago. I said he <laughs> You'll you'll need this one. Don't worry. Oh, what fun! <laughs> it's gonna be one of these guys. One of these. Um, See, yeah. something we've never considered, Tali, is that we actually can edit the answers to these questions while Icarus is typing them. So if we don't like what he's saying, we could just change it. <laughs> oh, I think Tarly that's how it types works. Them. Oh, even better, Tali. Just type the answers we want. <laughs> um. Let's see, do we fight this character? Yes, you do fight this character. Okay. Is this okay, good? wait, wait, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. Hold, hold the phones. Yes, yes, you do, you do, okay. Du- I was double checking, double checking. <laughs> that was close. I love how we keep getting a slideshow out of Britza, it's kind of, you just keep periodically <laughs> pausing in like all these different poses, like, I'm waiting for the one that was the best, where he was just like... Uh, yeah, my connection's going to be AWOL, so I'll offer short questions. Is this uh, character like... still alive? Oh, I, I, I got, did we ask that? Did we ask that? No, we didn't. Is this character still alive? Are you asking that question? Yes. E- yes, this character is alive. So we have fought the character, and they're still alive. Interesting. Um, is this character... Whoa, Richard just disappeared. No, no, I'm, I'm back, I'm back. I, I, Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? That's, that's some magic right there. <laughs> so it, it, it froze while you were on camera, then it unfroze when you weren't there, and then it froze again, and then you were just suddenly back. It didn't show any of your movement. It was terrifying. I'm, I'm, see, a lot of Americans won't get this, but the Brits will. I'm like a real-life Mr. Ben. Uh, <laughs> I, so. I don't get the reference. Okay. No. Um, is this character uh, pl- belong to one of the playable races? No. Okay. Mm. 
down the rabbit hole you go for what oh. race it will be. Is this yeah, we, we've never done well on the races, I think, except for one time. Is this character aligned with a specific faction? No. I think the, the fact that you, they were alive prior to... Well... Is this character... Hang on, should we ask whether we fight this character in Warcraft 3? Because if they were alive prior to well, they may have had a prominent role in Warcraft 3. <laughs> Unless it's like Guardsman Does number 2. Character have a prominent role in Warcraft 3? No. No. Oh. Random healing elf number 2. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to give you that question for free because with that information, that could spiral you and just, you'll waste the last 10. <laughs> okay. Um. Hmm. Was this... Was this, did we fight this character uh, during or after Cataclysm? Sometimes. Hey, I'm allowed to say that. My options are yes, no, unknown, and sometimes. By the rules of 20 questions. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Those are the agreed Did answers. we fight this character before the cataclysm sometimes <sighs> okay so this I'll is get, character... I'll, I'll let that be I'll let that be one big question so we just sometimes fight this character all off and on yeah but that, yeah. that, that, that says a lot because that means it's not a necessarily a set ray boss or I anything, think it's a like concept it, this this might be like a concept <laughs> It is the it is the it's mythic a boss. <laughs> it's a person. It is a, literally a thing. What character? It's a character. How what character have we fought off and on every expansion of the game? No, you 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 sometimes you you can fight it after Cataclysm and you can fight it before oh, Cataclysm. Jesus. <laughs> oh, hang on. That means so that could be like time that walking. Was or something. No, yeah. no, 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 no. It's oh. no, no. I you phrased the question and I answered accordingly. Okay. Okay. So, is this character uh, is this character in an instance? Um uh instance as in dungeons, raids and scenarios. Yes, that's what an instance is. <laughs> yes, yeah, so no. Is this character bigger than a bread box? Yes, this character is definitely bigger than a bread box. Hey, lost. I... Hmm. Completely. Icarus answers questions way too vaguely. <laughs> I'm not answering them vaguely. No, you're just I, poorly you're wording answering your the questions, questions we ask. I is the brighter one well, okay sometimes I hmm. I can call it right now we're not gonna get it no we don't I got we got I think we're like, like way literally question. two two questions two questions could give this away immediately I feel like it's just gonna be something like yeah like Stormwind Guard number three something really <laughs> nope. stupid like that so I, you know how the wiki classifies how important they are this person is somewhat to like above the somewhat important thing. I'm not picking anybody who's just mildly noteworthy, because that was bullshit. That was a faux show knuckle bub, and that was way too hard. But they're not quite prominent, so they're not like. But it's a character that level. we've literally fought in every. Or we can. We've had the ability to fight in every expansion. Yeah. So it's someone in from classic then. 
No, hang on, necessarily. State the question properly, sir, so I don't confuse you further. Well, I wasn't a- asking, I was just oh, stating. Okay. Um, that could be a good... Uh, like, are we, uh, we going to go for the introduce question? Was this character introduced to the game in Classic? Yes. Okay. It's probably Hogger. <laughs> Um, well, you, you would, you would, f- no, because you only fight Hogger either during Classic or when they remade him into Stockades. But you can go back and fight him at any time. Yeah, but that's not what I took from the equation. I took it as that would be current on it and you don't redo. Yeah, Is this character there. specific to an event in game? Uh, no. Damn it. Oh, that might be the that good horseman. question. Good question, no. <laughs> Yeah, we could, that could have been very thematic. Um, we've written down we sometimes fought this character during or after Kata, but I'm guessing we must have fought them before. Or did right, we not because I them? was going to ask that, but he lumped it into one, so we we fought yeah. this character. Uh, not not a playable race, not through a specific faction. Someone who's been in the game. Since you guys, classic. you guys think of your things. I'm going to go through and double check all of these because you guys are now confusing <laughs> me. Off of your own questions, and it's getting a little out of hand. From Warcraft, check. <laughs> We've confused the question master. Excellent. Keep going, Sally. Keep going. Um. Okay, not an item. Not a not a playable race. Not part of a faction. Is a male character. Is this character a humanoid? As in, has like stands on two feet, arms. Is that the definition you're giving? Has two feet and has arms. It only stands on two only feet. Sta- only stands no. on two feet, stands upright. It's not a human. No. Okay. And it's not the description you are giving me. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of who we fight that minute. Yeah. Introduced into the game. And it can't be, it's not like a raid boss or something because it's not in an instance. Um, well, who does? But it wouldn't be anyone prominent. That's the thing. It's not. It's not particularly. It's a, it's got to be a named character, a male character. Um, I suppose technically wrong. There we go. Hang on. What did we? Uh, this is a question for Icarus. What did you accept as our definition for an instance? Like a raid, uh, raid dungeon. Dungeons and raids. They didn't include battlegrounds, did they? It's not in the battleground. I'll lump that into the previous oh, question. Okay. Oh, I was picking up on your Warsong Gulch reference earlier, and I thought, would you what can you one sum- of the- What can you summon in Warsong Gulch? You can do it in Old Arathi, that giant elemental. But I don't think he had a name. Hmm. Is this character found... Um, Cal- okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go back up to your nine, not aligned with a specific faction. Is that Hoarder aligned specific faction, or is that... That's what I meant, yeah. Okay. So they're Continue not aligned to the Horde of the Alliance. Is this character okay. found on Kalimdor? Uh, yes. Okay. I'm rushing through all the non-playable races that it could possibly be. I can't think of a single one. It's not like centaurs or... random... I mean, everything checks out. Still a character that we've fought, been in the game since Classic, still alive, technically. It could be like... No, it's not an old god, because we've only fought him in instances. It, it could be one of the, like, wild gods, like Avena, maybe, although it's a he. Like, we could yeah. go for one of the, the wild gods, well, maybe. But when did we fight them? Well, the I don't know. we fought with Cenarius, and that was an, an instant. Well, like, a, this... Avena's in the world. You don't... You, I think you fight. Them. I'm going to give you a freebie, just because you're struggling. He appears twice in the game. Twice? Oh. Okay. I can't give you the exact expansions because that would limit... That'd give you too much of a narrow pool to choose from. Nice. But one of them is, in fact, he appears in Classic, and then he reappears another time. 
<laughs> oh god. I, I presumably blinked for both those moments. Is um, this character... <sighs> is it... I... Why? It's, it sound it off on me, Charlie. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what are we thinking? Cause I... It could be like a dragon. Um... I, I fear by about question eight, you may have rabbit holed yourself. But you got three more, I believe. Be... Still alive, technically. Oh, yeah. The technically thing. We could possibly read out on that. What? what? It, it's someone that we sure. fight more than once. Or <sighs> I just said he appears. So, one person who this might fit. Um. Oh. Like you don't even know what race this this guy is. No. So, potentially. Oh, this is, I'm, I think I'm wrong here. So, this could be. If you pull someone this out like of your ass, I'd yeah, laugh. I'm, I, I, I'm <laughs> gonna try. so the only character I can think of that are they alive still though? I'm just looking at the wiki. So, I see this, this is what I worried about with too many hints. You can just pinpoint it. See, I was thinking if it was someone like Nefarian because Nefarian you fight in classic, although he's right, in an but instance, we fight, but fight him in an um, instance. Yeah, that's like I. It's got to be some yeah. kind of world boss or some mob somewhere, but it, like that because I didn't play classics. I I'm literally just uh, hoping on you, Brits, to get this one because so there's we, no way I'm going to get it. What did we say about this? It? No not, idea. Not in an instance. Well, you know, arguably we could take that word for word. We didn't ask about you know whether they solely existed in an instance, but appearing twice. No, fire doesn't only appear twice either. He appears a couple of times. So. Uh, it's someone. It's basically someone we fight, we kill in inverted commas, and then they get brought back. So that could be uh, someone. Yeah. Is is it a dragon? It is not a dragon. <laughs> okay, it's worth ruling it out. Or affiliated dragon races. So none of the aspects or anything like that. Um. Uh, There's like one one key word. That would narrow this down into a guessable thing with these next two guesses. I think we could. I think we could try and ask like something: Is this an undead, or is this? Oh, I, I don't know. But even then, if they said undead, I don't think I would do anything because I'm trying to think raid content now. But it's not in an instance. He's not in an instance, so. You guys keep getting this raid notion. You, you... Yeah. You've got hooked on one question. Let's block in all our answers. You, um, you, you lock into one thing and you, you assume. Let's forget the instance thing for a second. So if we try and narrow down in the next two questions what their race is. But then again, ah, so humanoid. <laughs> Couldn't be a dragon. Well, a dragon could be a humanoid technically. So, but it's not a yeah, human. I, I I would consider a dragon a humanoid. Uh, humanoid. You consider a yeah. dragon humanoid? Well, they turn into human form, don't they? And they're only the aspects. So I think. Uh, oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. Then they had to be dragon, but you know where I was going with that. So I'm thinking either some sort of undead in the concepts of Lich King. Or an ogre. I don't know why. I don't know. I I would consider an ogre a humanoid though. Two legs. So the only thing there's a lot of them bouncing around Kalimdor. Yeah. So But then I'm thinking here like what, what <laughs> event happened in the world where like you know, it sounds like this sounds like a pretty cool story event. I'm just trying to sit here like think what quest Well it's not a s it's not an event. Uh, so, so I mean in the sense of uh, Clearly, we some sort of story behind us killing them and then coming back, maybe. Or I, I don't know. I'm projecting here. But they're alive still, currently, technically. This answer is going to make a shit ton of sense. Just 
It's going to be like Azeroth or something. Right. I can just yeah. tell. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're on Azeroth multiple times, more than two. Not in spirit, though. Not in it's spirit. I've always been Chris Outlands. Metzen himself. Um, so, is this I, some it, kind of elemental? Yes. Oh, oh. Yes, okay. it is an elemental. That was the key word. Okay. Calendar elemental. Calendar Fuck. Elemental. <laughs> Calendar elemental. Oh, well, I apologize shit. to the live stream. No wonder no one's stuck around. We've had no audio this whole time until right now. Are you serious? Oh, Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, at least we're recording the audio this week. That's, yeah. that's the main yeah. thing. You'll have to check out the podcast, Loxley. Sorry about that. <laughs> Rip. Uh, I can't believe darn. none of us checked it this entire time. We were just so hyped for non Diablo 4. Uh, speaking of non Diablo 4, should we try and narrow down whether it's some sort of fire element? We've got one question before we got a guess. I don't know. I'm trying to think the names of any elementals. Is it that dude at the top of the mountain oh, in the. Oh. Who's, yeah, that? who's that elemental sitting at the top of the volcano in Ashenvale? <laughs> It's set on Kilimdor. Yes. Did you lie to us? We're not Ashen yes. Bale. The, the place, whatever that zone is right next to Orgrimmar. With the giant volcano? Yeah. I'm going to give you a freebie and say no. Because <laughs> I, I forgot his existence. I, I'm not going to be able to get this. I don't know. Named Elementals on Kalimdor. I'm gonna look it up, I guess. And here goes my question. Wah, wah, wah. Hmm. I see. I don't know enough of the during or after Kata. I mean, there was a load of elemental stuff that happened in that expansion, but I'm trying to think of a particular character in Kalimdor right. that might have. We might have fought. Just show me every elemental in Kalimdor. Are you actually googling ele every elemental yes. in Kalimdor? I, I, I did. I did type. What did I type into Google? <laughs> Kalimdor elemental. <laughs> and I'm now. I'm now looking at the wiki page for elemental, and it's just it's oh, it's awful. Um. Oh, for God's sake! I mean, it could be. I'm thinking of something. Oh no, 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 no! Yeah, like there's there's a. Uh, See, this takes me. This shows that I play classic, because for the um, there were uh, for the warrior there was a quest to go get your whirlwind weapon, and you had to fight a uh, wind elemental. And I think that was named, if I'm not mistaken. So, but that's happened all on uh, the uh, on Eastern Kingdoms. So I'm wondering if maybe there's an equivalent. Maybe some kind of the shamans had to do something to get their totems in classic. I don't know. Dude, what about the, good question. Oh, the pools? The pools of thingy in Mulgore. Isn't there some stuff there? Ask a question. God damn it! So you don't don't know what uh, okay, is let's it a go fire through. elemental? It is not a fire elemental. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, hang on. I'm. Pools, is pools it Frost Lord Gahoon? It sounds like Britta Chris. is not, not acknowledging that as the final yeah. question. I'm just spitballing because yeah, well, I, I know I'm not going to get it, so it's, it's on you, Britta. No, 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 no. We can, we can get it. 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 Um, oh, Blimmin' Hell. What's the place called? Uh, oh, Blimmin' Hell. I'm getting the wrong place. So there's Mulgore. And then, where's the... Oh, for God's sake. How hard is it to find it. a high-definition Mulgore map? <laughs> Pretty hard. Yeah, apparently very hard. Right, this is it. I, I will have a possible answer. Right, it's... Uh, oh. Okay. Um, oh, I honestly didn't what think this one was going to be that hard. Balls. They're always hard. We're so we, we don't we don't play enough WoW. <laughs> uh, oh, 
I, I, I can't find them. I don't even know what place I'm looking for, to be honest. But um, Mulgore pulls of something. Is that what I want? Pulls of vision. Right, here we go. Here we go. Pulls of vision. Elemental. Elemental. In the comic, Pulls of vision were mysteriously being haunted by power. Many touring. It doesn't say what they're called. Um, I have no that, idea. That, that's, that's a big negative there, Ghost Rider. Is yeah. it Frost Lord number five? The final guess. Can we, can we, if we're going to give up, if we're going to give up, can we come up with something else? Can it be? I don't know. I, I just, I, I don't, yeah, is it Frost Lord number five? No, it's, how, did someone say Blessed Blade, or Thunder Fury, Blessed Blade of the Windseeker? It's Prince Thunderan. You can fight him in classic to get the weapon, and then he also makes a guest appearance in Legion in the Shaman Order Hall. Never heard of her. Him. Hey, him. He's Who? the guy. You get the two pieces from Firecore to then put the legendary weapon together, and then you fight him to then get his weapon. And he technically is defeated, and then you bring his ass back to life uh... in Legion. Yeah, but we really never. Do. We, do we look like players who are good enough to get Blessed Blade of the Wind Fury? <laughs> yeah, I've never it, done that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. I, honestly, I thought you guys would have like uh, uh-huh. just like Googled elementals, and the wiki page has five. And there's Thunderan, Gar, Baron, Murmur, and uh, the last guy. One of them only appears once, so that rolls him out. Murmurs in BC and uh, Draenor, so that rolls him out. Baron is a fire elemental, so that rules him out. So your choices were Gar and Thunderan. Process enough. of elimination. No, that uh, it was. A- I, do, I was looking at him. I was looking at this whole time. I had that little picture of all the elementals up. Good point. I, I also gave you a, a nice little hint earlier that he was classified as somewhat important or higher because I wouldn't do anybody who's only noteworthy. Now that is. I accept that. Good answer. (laughs) All right. Well, as always, I'd like to thank everybody for listening to Geeks of Azeroth. You can always find us on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, Google Play, and right here on twitch.tv slash Geeks of Azeroth. Though, I can't guarantee we're going to have sound. Uh, You can find us on Twitter at Geeks of Azeroth. You can find me personally at Epic Geeks Tarly. Britza, where can we find you? Uh, You can find me at Britza underscore EG. And Icarus, where can we find you? You can, you can find me on Twitch, Ikari and Knight. Yeah. Still haven't done a Twitter. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you guys the same time, same place next week for our uh, BlizzCon preview show. Bye-bye. Woo-hoo. Bye. Bye.